Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Avis. Welcome back to a new episode. And today we're going to look at pretty much all of my items and outfits, better said outfits, um, which I've been wearing since 2013. So we're going to take a look at my outfit history from 2013 to 2019, so the day to day. And I've pretty much prepared a whole page of avatars and outfits, which I just created and saved again. And uh, some of those outfits might be not as accurate as they were back in the day because some of the parts are missing, like some of the hats. As an example, I sold shaggy hair, uh, Kadi Koala, because those were limiteds now. And yeah, I got them for tickets back in the day and yeah, now I sold them. So that's a big rip. But yeah, let's take a look at them now. So here uh, we have some items that are pretty, uh, some outfits that are pretty recent. And yeah, we're going to take a look at the first outfit that I've ever had. And uh, yeah, it was pretty simple, like super simple. That's actually close to chat. So this was my first outfit ever. Let's take a 360 degree look at it. It was just a basic Roblox cap with the Bloxer t-shirt and yeah, pretty much nothing special. And I think then I changed my item to some, uh, my outfit to something else. And on this one I was originally wearing Shaggy, but we'll come to that in a second. So yeah, I was still rocking the Bloxer shirt and also, a nice wizard hat. I think it came out from a um, one of those presents. Uh, furthermore, I was now rocking some shades, which you were able to get in a summer event, as far as I know, when you got onto the leaderboard of a game or something like that. It was pretty cool. And yeah, also I was wearing the present box, uh, and I still don't know why. So yeah, this was probably one of my second outfits, as far as I remember. So yeah, let's go to the next outfit. And let's take a look at it first and then I'll explain some stuff towards it. So yeah, this was an outfit where I saved up my tickets to buy some actual clothing. And yeah, it was pretty cool and I was very proud of it. I don't even remember why I actually bought monster t-shirt and pants. Uh, but yeah, still rocking the Bloxer t-shirt. I didn't. I don't even remember why. But I really like the shirt, so I don't know. We also had now a scarf. I think it also came from a present or something like that. The same shades and the, the cap and now I actually have to check about the cap because I still don't remember that. Let's just check for the cap where you got that one from. Oh, it was springtime 2014. So this was a year later and it was from April Fool's I something like that. It was a pretty cool hat and I really liked it. It was probably one of my favorite ones. It says Robux on the side, has a nice character on it. And I actually like the colors on it, so I think that's why I actually bought the monster t-shirt, because it was pretty matching. So yeah, anyways, that was one of the next outfits that I had, but I originally was wearing shaggy. So yeah, that was a rip. Next item which I actually purchased was um, this one right there. I think it was like a ninja hood or whatever it's called. And I think this one isn't even available anymore. Ninja Mask of the Light. And it was also a pretty cool item. I think I got it for tickets as far as I remember. And yeah, then I also was wearing some event item I think and a Roblox birthday hat which was also pretty cool. Whoops, let's actually take a look at this one. Yeah, this one was pretty cool. And I actually liked this outfit a lot and I was wearing it very often. But yeah, we got rid of shirts again and I still don't know why. So yeah, let's go back to the outfits and go for an outfit which I actually remember then. I don't know, I was wearing this for like a week and I was like, wait, this this looks weird. Say I was wearing this blue hair, I think, I'm not sure, maybe I was wearing shaggy, but I just threw on this one because I think I was wearing a blue hair. But I definitely was wearing those uh, blue pants, which I think were free, and also a t-shirt which I bought with tickets, and I still don't know why, but I think I was wearing the Bloxer again. And yeah, also some shades. It was a pretty cool outfit for me back then and I was really enjoying it. So yeah, let's go on to the next one. So after this, this was like 2014. Then I kind of paused playing Roblox. I was just rarely online. And I think I came back in like 2015 or 16. And yeah, this was my outfit back then. I actually uh, switched from 1.0 to a package. And yeah, this was my outfit when I came back. I was still wearing the shirts, no Bloxer shirt anymore. And I actually bought a new shirt that, back then. With tickets again, and also some pants. Because I had some left, and yeah. 
I think this was some of the last days I had tickets and I think then I got removed. This was another shirt I think I bought with tickets. And I made a few outfits with those and this shirt was actually older but let's take a look at this one. Still pretty much the same outfit just a different t-shirt and different pants. I think those were free. And yeah then we go to the next outfit. This was like um, nearly 2016 I think. So around the time where tickets actually got removed and I had this suit before. Like I bought it very early but I could never find like a matching pants and stuff like that. So I was kind of upset about that and I just threw on some random pants. And yeah then I was wearing some weird ass hats. Uh, which I don't even remember. And some glasses which I think are free and the chill face. So it was those three times when I actually changed the original face from Roblox. And then it happened I got the first time Robux. But before I actually purchased Roblox, the first thing what I ever purchased on Roblox was OBC. And I still don't know why. I was like, oh wait, it's the most expensive thing, so yeah, I'm gonna buy that. And that was in 2016. That was the time when I started to get more active on Roblox again, and actually started to play this game again. And yeah, I know, this looks very cringy, but... I had a lot of 2.0 outfits and I saw a lot of people running around like this and I was like, okay, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna dress like them, I, I think it was popular. So yeah, I was kind of influenced by that. And yeah, I got pretty pretty fast bored of the face and also the glasses and this beanie and the shirt and the colors. So yeah, I picked up a different shirt because now I had Robux and that was actually the first time I've ever had Robux besides exchanging tickets to Roblox. Robux. But yeah, I actually had a few more, like a thousand Robux, and I was super happy with that. Uh, you can't even imagine. And yeah, so I started creating different outfits, and this was an outfit I really enjoyed and was wearing for a long time. But I think then came something like a sale or stuff like that, and I actually purchased some new items, and I was very happy with them. I think they weren't even on sale, I just purchased them. And yeah, I saw a lot of people were starting to wear like those weird arms and stuff and I was like, okay, you know what, I can do that as well. It looked pretty cool for me back then. And yeah, a different face again. It's not nah, different face like this one, but still the same as this one. And yeah, I was kind of starting to experiment a little bit with the outfits. And I, I got bored of this kind of quickly, so I actually changed back and just changed the lag. And this was like probably halfway through 2016 maybe even close to 2017 and yeah this was one of the outfits I created back then got some new hair actually oh wait never mind I actually had <laughs> new hair in this one as well anyways so this was an outfit I was wearing back then I was kind of happy with it and I honestly I change very often shirts so don't mind that I'm, I just put a few of them it, it would take forever to make them and don't be confused by me changing that later on to number 16 because Roblox didn't let me put any more like 15, 16 and stuff. Anyways, at that point I kind of got bored of 2.0 and I was like, hmm, I should change it. And I went actually back to 1.0, which was very confusing me, and I actually started to wear the OBC hats that I got for free. I wasn't wearing them before, to be honest. I think I didn't even realize I got something like that. And yeah, that was probably the one of the first times that I actually bought like back accessories and started to wear those. And I was very happy with those outfits, but soon enough, you know me, I got bored again and bought new stuff. And one of my friends actually dressed as something like this back then and I pretty much just copied his whole outfit. And yeah, then I remembered this next outfit. But yeah, we're going to talk about that in a few seconds. Dino outfits, oh my god, I remember those. So yeah, that was a, like a trend back then, where you dressed as animals, I think dinos, and some some other people had like a giraffe hat or something like that, and yeah. We had like a dino squad. If you go on my Twitter, you can actually find the picture from 2016 when I was dressing as a dino. <laughs> oh my god, embarrassing times. So yeah. A few moments later on Mad Games, if you don't know that game, but I can definitely recommend checking it out. Even though it's kind of dead right now. It was a game I played anyways. And on Mad Games, you pretty much got like every single trend. Like, you had the Dino trend, 2.0 trend, whatever you want to call it. And then people started wearing like those, those t-shirts or whatever you can call them. And I was like, hey, that looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm just going to take it and 
try it out for myself and uh, yeah that there was an outfit but you know me I got bored again so what did I do I went for a different face and some hat gear or hat necklace or whatever I didn't even know how to call this thing like a crown can you call it a crown not necklace but like a crown yeah probably so yeah blue I like blue at that time and then I, then a sale came up and I actually bought I think my first pair of antlers I think that was actually the first pair of antlers I bought and those were super expensive like 2000 robux and I thought I would go limited and yeah I actually picked up those headphones I think as well and blue was the color again so that was pretty weird and I went back then to the other one just in a different color and a neon green and bought some shades as well and the fedora and yeah I was pretty happy with that and then the time started when I actually created my own clothing and I was very happy with that I enjoyed making clothings and yeah I actually bought a new face again and this was pretty cool so yeah then a little bit later I actually started trading and there's a time gap because I actually don't remember what I was wearing back then but I know one of my first outfits with Core Blocks Death Speaker was like the Spongebob outfit I just left that one out and just went for the time when I started wearing shirts like this and yeah I had Core Blocks and it was one of my dream items and then I was like dude why 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 did I stop wearing 2.0 and I actually went back to 2.0 again and was throwing on some back accessories randomly sometimes even like face accessories and neck accessories but I pretty much just skipped them I was never really a huge fan of shoulders besides nowadays and I actually enjoy a lot of shoulder accessories nowadays so yeah I went back to 2.0 quite a long time but I only have two outfits for this one and then I actually sold some of my items for robux and was load actually to get like a top hat and it was probably one of my first top hats I've ever had and I was very happy with it I actually liked it a lot instead of just wearing one of the core block legs I was like hey why don't I wear two of those and yeah then I actually traded a lot I can't show you any of these items because I sold most of them no I actually sold all of them for robux and then I actually managed to pick up headless and I was so happy with headless and it was actually one of my dream items back then but I never expected to get it and I actually got it then and this was the time when I actually started to also make my own clothing like this brand you all know it probably today it's Angel's Clothing and I'm still working on the clothing brand and yeah then later on I think it's now like 2018 this was like 2017 and this is still like 2017 as well and some of those actually 2016 as I told you so yeah this one was uh, when I actually managed to get clockworks and I was so happy and I actually thought those would be limited but yeah I got disappointed later on and was kind of upset but yeah it doesn't matter to be honest at that time I had uh, an immortal sword I think later on the immortal wicked sword or whatever it's called the one which like has 800 owners and I also had some other limited like Stickmaster Luke, Peanut Butter and some other stuff. So yeah, I sold them to get actually a Violet Walk. And I was super happy because uh, I, I always wanted a walk here and I was kind of lazy when I traded. So I never actually managed to get a walk here hat because I never did like trade ups. I always went for like big items and I pretty much just stopped trading, sold some stuff and it was pretty weird. And yeah, then I went for Valkyrie helmet and I was very happy with that. I didn't went for the bucket, the white one, but yeah, it's still off sale anyway, so I guess it's fine. Then I played the account, you all know it, there's a tutorial even on this channel with the highest amount of views I've ever made, 43,700, and I was insane. And yeah, after the account, I was actually able to purchase the first um, horns like those ones right here I think those are called I, I don't even know the name okay let me actually check for the name poisoned horns of the nevermore or what of the toxic wasteland oh never mind toxic wasteland okay sorry I don't know many names and yeah this was like one year ago when I got those and I was very happy with rocking this outfit with the AMAC because I was so very proud of getting this and yeah this is pretty much 
not that far ago that I had this item. No, that I achieved this item, I'm sorry. I actually completed the work clock set last year, 2018 I think. And I was so happy with that, that I actually purchased work clock shades and I'm still happy that I got those, I really like them. And I don't have to get clockworks because I actually like those a little bit more. Just with some outfits, I think the other ones, the clockworks actually fit a lot better. And yeah, this was also I think Halloween last year when I bought the top hat. And yeah, I actually still like top hats. They're very cool and I think this one looks pretty cool, especially with the shirt that I made. I, I like that. And yeah, now we have some items, and uh, some outfits, sorry, that I created recently. This was like for headless. Some random outfit. I think this looked pretty cool. Then we have a creepy outfit, which I also created like last year on a sale when I actually got to buy this hat. And then I also made a shirt for it, you can see the branding always there. Then I actually went back like in the previous sale for like classic outfits, because why not? I like classic outfits. This was actually when I got like headless. I started to combine those two and clockworks. It was pretty cool and this one is also not long ago. So yeah, pretty cool outfits I think. And yeah, it's a pretty... Pretty nice history of outfits, how it went from 1.0 to like, I don't even know what that is. It's probably like 3.0, then 2.0, again 1.0, then 2.0, and again 1.0. And yeah, this is pretty much all of the outfits I've created in the past, and uh, only a few of them. Probably have hundreds more. But yeah, this is the video. I, I didn't want it to make it that long. I hope it's fine. And yeah, hope you enjoyed today's episode, it was a little bit different. And those are all of the outfits that I've pretty much had in the past. From 2014, 14 and kind of 15 to 16, then 17 and 18 to the date today, 2019. And yeah, I might actually do a video for 2020 then, at some point. But yeah, hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you later in the live stream. Bye.